start of the end of months usually signify the countdown to the end of the year. This final quarter of the year comes with the apprehension of an increase in criminal activities all over the country. There's renewed energy to tackle crime as a wind of change blows across some of the state police commands. You have vindicated in Lagos State, Southwest Nigeria, the newly appointed Commissioner of Police reels out lofty plans for the state to ensure the security of lives and property. I intend to, within the first two months as Commissioner of Police Lagos State, reduce crime rates in this state by 30%. I intend to restore Lagos State as the safest and most peaceful state to live in and to do business in Africa. That's the, a copy of the handing over notes that has been printed. A little further down the southwest coast, the Ondo State Division of Police is also bidding goodbye to its commission of police and swearing in a new one. The Constitution places on our shoulder the duties of protection of lives and property among others. You will ever agree with me that the police require the collaboration of all stakeholders to succeed in this task. In the Kwaibom State, South South Nigeria, the police command says it recorded significant improvement in security since the assumption of office by the new commissioner. A total of 140 suspects were arrested for various offenses, ranging from armed robbery to cultism and other crimes. Most of which have been charged to court. Staying in the South South region, the war against crime continues as police arrest a man who claims to be a bishop on suspicion of killing his new bride. And in the Southeast, the Anambra State Police Command is assuring residents that it will continue to deliver on its mandate of securing lives and property. I wish to reiterate with the readiness of the command to continue partnering with other security agencies a law-abiding citizens of the state to eliminate, to eliminate all forms of crimes and criminality. Nasarawa State in north-central Nigeria gets a new command headquarters commissioned by the state governor, Tanko Almakura, to enhance security operations. Standard for pre-qualification of recruits or people that would be employed as policemen should be raised so that the kind and caliber of people, even as recruits, as rank and file, should have such a basic education. It's a positive feedback for the police boss who not only gives an assurance that such plans are underway, but that they will equally meet the United Nations requirement. The police force is operating obviously far below the United Nations ratio of policing personnel to the citizens. What we are trying to do, and which we have requested from the government, is that we want to recruit for the now and the next five years, to be recruiting 31,000 every year. According to the police, these are just some of the changes to send Nigerians a message that security of lives and property is a year-round priority as the force headquarters and state commands continue to strategize.